Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with Michael Anthony Fitness. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and be part of the Chill Blue Sports Report without you guys. Hey, without you guys, this literally does not work. All right, so we met with the structural engineer. I'm going to have a video up about the Red Brick House. I'm excited because, you know, he said that he'd have it probably done by July, uh, June 5th. The drawings. The drawings. And he's like, <laughs> you're going to have fun with this one. I, I, uh, yeah, you know, I But you know what you need to do? <laughs> what? Get a bulldozer and some dynamite? No. No what? Get the, the, the vehicle. Oh, well, I know. I got to get a truck. I know. I got to get a truck. <laughs> Look at it. Tell me something I don't know. But uh, we're going to get going on the red brick house, you know. Um, so we've heard Chris Sims uh, talking about the Dak Prescott situation. It says that Dak Prescott turned down a $175 million contract, you know, which of course brings up more hate from people out there. People, you know, that Dak Prescott, he's greedy. You know, we heard about $45 million is what he wanted to put on there. Well, Adam Scheffner, you know Adam Scheffner, right? Joe Boo actually interviewed Adam Scheffner one time, um, is putting down that rumor and says that the Cowboys and Dak Prescott's Asian agent, Asian agent, deny that happened. That uh, the whole 175, nah, that turned it down. No, that did not happen. Um, the only discussions are the length of the deal. So Dak wants four years because he wants to be like everybody else. Everybody else can go through and get a short term deal and go ahead and get renegotiating after the television money comes in. You know, Dak wants to be like everybody else, you know, and I'll give you an example of why you don't want to have that long term deal. It's great for the team. OK, you know, the team is all, everybody's always like, you're not a team guy. Well, understand the crazy thing about the team is they sign you to a contract. You know, a lot of times guys have contracts and they get cut before the contract has been paid out. Yeah. Ask Dez that one. Dez still had money. He got cut even though he had a signed a contract. The team can do that. You, on the other hand, you can't just say, you know what? I want to get out of this contract and walk. You can't do that. So when people say that, you know, you need to take a team friendly deal, why the team ain't doing anything friendly for you. Everything is shaded towards the team. So understand that Kirk Cousins, who just two years ago signed a fully guaranteed $88 million contract, has already renegotiated his next deal and got two more years put on at $66 million. And you can best believe that in two more years, he'll be doing the same thing again be it with Minnesota or somebody else, he will get paid again. And he has already got $200 million guaranteed in his career. Matthew Stafford's got $203 million. He's already made Matthew Stafford. Okay. So for some reason, people don't think that Dak Prescott is supposed to get a piece of that pie. And as we go through here and we kill Dak Prescott, you know, Pat Mahomes is going to pay probably about 45 million. Year one, year one, Deshaun Watson is looking for 40, but nobody's talking about those guys. So again, you know, Chris Sims, cowboy hater, and I haven't forgotten, Chris, I haven't forgotten in 2016, excuse me, 2017, 2017, you said that the New York stinking Giants were a Super Bowl favorite. Because they got Brandon Marshall along with two-time Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> Eli Manning, how did that work out for you? How did it work out? Ah, uh, yeah. So, we don't really know what's going on with that whole situation. But I can tell you this much. With Jerry Jones being back in the building, Jerry Jones back in his office, that right now they're working on this thing. And sometimes... This week or next week, I believe it will be done, okay? And if it is done, make sure you come back and holler at your boy and say, damn, Mark, you were right. That deal was going to get done. You said it was going to get done. All right, man, what you got going on? Not, not much. Not much? We got to get back home, man. We got we got more work to do. We got to get that, you know, that, that piece of crap out of our house. That eagle one? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you got to talk to the missus on that one. 
that that Eagles. I, I need no, no, no. I'm talking about getting back home. Oh, uh, she's she's on a, on a call right now. Uh, that that Eagles piece of crap out my house. Did we already box that one up? We're still waiting on some other pieces. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got to get that crap out. But we got a Steelers, a Steelers six piece one. It's gonna go. We got a Cowboy spice rack to do. Um, we got Mike, 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 Mike. We got your two um, that are in there. And then I got a mini one that's like a shield. And I'm still waiting. I found out the parts I was ordering. They're, they shipped today. So that other new one, hopefully it'll come out. You guys keep me on my toes. I'll tell you that. All right, guys. Just got 158 miles of driving to do, and I'll be back home. See ya.